how can elected officials, how can they most effectively use social media? And does that in a way to move the political process forward productively? Uh, it's, it's a good question. I think restraint is a good starting point. Um, and, and by the way, just to put some context on what Ed was just saying, of the $4.3 trillion of federal spending, about 20% of our economy, $4.3 trillion, only $1.2 trillion of that is, is discretionary. The rest, the bulk of it is mandatory. Things we actually can't monkey with without changing the rules. So uh, you're right, it's sort of baked into the cake in a, in a way that's really difficult to undo. But, but back to social media, you know, for one, it's not the be all end all, but I think it matters. It's a, a critically important way to communicate with, uh, with constituents. Uh, I really believe that restraint is important. It, the amount of ugliness in tweets and in Facebook posts, uh, I think is not particularly healthy. It's really easy to sit in a room all by yourself and say ugly things to somebody you've never met. And it's very easy as a, as a public figure to respond in kind. Uh, I just don't. I just don't. I, I think that the best I can do is try to lead by example. I treat my constituents with, with uh, respect, and I try not to get into people's motives, because I don't know what they are. I have enough trouble figuring out my own motives without worrying about other people's. I try to focus on the issues and uh, try to reason with people whether they're angry or not, and, and social media is one way to do that. And so, um, you know, we talked in a, in a meeting before this about uh, one of our leaders uh, likes to tweet. And, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I don't like the way he says things. Uh, you know, I think all of us have a responsibility, all of us, to try to use these tools constructively in a way that, that, that builds up, doesn't tear down. Thank you. I can see that there are many questions. And let's uh, 